Hey guys, how you doing? Josh here from Momenta Productions, and today I've been flying my beautiful DJI Inspire 1, and it got a little bit windy, a little bit cloudy, so I decided to do a new review video on something really, really special that I'm really proud to announce. It's brought to you by Lang. Now, if you remember a few years back, I did a Lang stabilizer review video on how to stabilize and use a Lang camera stabilizer. And still to this day, they have to be one of my favorite stabilizers to use out in the field. So today, I want to bring to you the new Lang S3 slider. Here's how it looks like. It's about three feet long, made out of beautiful, beautiful, I just love it, man. Beautiful uh, aircraft grade aluminum. And we have a really nice carriage here. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the carriage a little bit later. First off, I wanna talk about the different uh, options we have in mounting this slider. So, these feet that come with the slider are detachable by this cool aluminum knob. Very nice quality, not one bit of plastic here. So they detach like that. The feet are pretty wide, so it makes for a really, really stable slider. That's what I really like about this. It's a nice little feature here. And if we remove this, this is how we can mount our, if you look right there, we have a little mounting screw there. We can mount our slider vertically, just like my other slider that I have, the 48 inch Studio FX slider. So we can mount it vertically as well. And obviously you need to purchase a ball head in order for you to get those beautiful crane footage shots. So. We have these two screws on each side, right? The detachable feet. You take the feet off and you'll be able to mount it vertically on your stabilizer. Now these, you, these require a bigger screw. They are not your average tripod screw sizes. I don't remember the exact sizes. I will post it in the description of this video. So make sure you uh, stay, look at the description. Um, so yeah, these are larger than typical uh, tripod screws. So. I will put a reminder in the video, make a little annotation, and please look down in the description below. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount these feet back on. It's a little tricky to do this with one hand, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's very simple. Just lay it down like that, put the screw back in. Okay. Now if we turn to the bottom of the slider, we have some uh, more mounting holes here, a bunch actually, and you can mount up to three different tripods. One, two, three. I don't think you would ever use more than two tripods, but if you ever wanna go crazy and mount really super heavy cameras on here, you can, and you can use three tripods. But from my experience, this slider is not that long to use three tripods, but two tripods is a good option. Now my 48 inch slider, I would use three tripods sometimes if I use like a red camera with all the monitors and all the gadgets in there. Yeah, it gets pretty heavy. So I would use three, three tripods, but this one only two would be sufficient. So one, two, three mounting areas, which is pretty awesome. Beautiful quality guys, not one bit of plastic. So I'm really, really happy about it. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the railing system here. Now in your typical slider you have bearings that are riding on the rails on the inside of the slider. Well on this slider we have four bearings that are riding on the outside of the railing system. This to me is a much more, it's a, it's a simpler design than the other systems and it's a lot easier to maintain and control because the bearings are exposed and so are the adjustment screws. So if things get a little too bumpy, the bearings might be a little too tight and you could go ahead, use a wrench and loosen them up and it'll be nice and smooth again. And uh, we have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, carriage here, nice and wide, no more small narrow carriages like the Studio FX slider. This is, gives you plenty of space. It actually adds to your reliability of the slider. Uh, the more space we have, the more confident we are, and the less shaking you're gonna get because it's riding on more surface area, so there's a lot less chance of shaking to occur. So that's what I really enjoy, and the bearings on the system are phenomenal. They're so smooth, so smooth. Now, out of the factory, uh, the bearings are a little tight. They tighten it up probably during shipping. They don't want anything to get loose, so they tighten it extra 
tight in the factory. So when you get your slider, I recommend taking a look at your bearings and just either loosening, up, loosening them up a little bit or greasing them up uh, with WD-40 or any kind of plain old Jane uh, <laughs> uh, greaser. Um, and that's really, really cool. As you can see, there's some stains on my, on my slider. I actually greased it up um, with special lubricant that keeps dust off the slider. Uh, I don't, it's, it's some generic brand uh, lubricant. You can find it at Home Depot or any other type of uh, hardware store. Uh, it's special lubricant that keeps dust off of the slider. So I never have to worry about dust uh, accumulating on the slider. So let me show you how I set up my slider, my Lang S3 slider on a tripod. Let's go ahead and get my Sony a7S to prep for this setup. So I have my a7S here with a 14 millimeter lens and I have my ball head here, my generic ball head that I found on uh, Amazon. And if you look at my past videos, you'll know exactly how this stuff works. A ball head actually lets you do a whole bunch of different camera angles. So these are very, very useful, especially for sliders, because if you use a slider without a ball head, you'll be stuck with one angle. With a ball head, you'll be able to go up, down, left, right, you know, you'll do a whole bunch of cool stuff. So here's my generic ball head and it basically works like an ordinary quick release plate. I already mounted the, the plate on the bottom of the camera, tighten it up, and now I'm ready to grab my tripod and mount this thing up on my slider. Okay, so I have my Lang S3 slider and I have a fancier F717 tripod, fluid head tripod. I'm gonna mount this slider on this tripod. Let's go ahead and do that. So, quick release system, right? We all know what a quick release system is. So I'm gonna release my quick release plate. Just like that. Okay, mount it right here in the center of the slider since I'm only using one tripod. Find the appropriate screw hole and go ahead and tighten it up. Make sure it's nice and tight since it is uh, a long, longer than average slider. Okay, tighten it up. All right, there's a quick release plate from the F717 Fancier tripod. Go ahead and slide it in the tripod. There it is. Just like that. Beautiful. And there we go. Our slider is mounted. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and lock up my tripod so nothing moves and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my A7S. Now, traditionally, I would have the ball head mounted onto the slider first before uh, putting the camera on. Um, so when you're setting up your slider, make sure your ball head is on your slider before you put your, your camera on. I won't recommend putting your whole system on like this, but since I already have it set up like this, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Make sure it doesn't fall. That would be very, very bad. So it just screws right on to the carriage, right? The ball head. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now see, I did not tighten it up as much as I should have. So it's gonna be a little loose. That's how we mount our slider. So if you have something tall that you need to shoot, you put your uh, slider on a tripod and then you'll be able to do it just fine. Now, it is a longer than average slider, so I do recommend using two tripods for this slider. As you see, I'm moving side to side along the slider, and you can see it seesawing. And you definitely don't want that in your footage, and it's not good for the quick release system. It puts a lot of pressure on it. So what I recommend, I recommend using one tripod on one end, another tripod on the other. Since I don't have three tripods, I won't be able to show you how I do it. So if you do have the luxury of two tripods, I definitely recommend using it because you definitely will need it. You definitely don't want the seesawing effect. It's a lot of stress on the slider and the quick release assembly on your tripod. I really do recommend using two tripods. I cannot stress that enough. So enough chit chat. Let me show you how this slider performs.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial review video. Josh Morgan here from CaptureTheMomentum.com. Have fun filming. Bye-bye.